The great central Nashville basin is often called the Garden of Tennessee for its relative fertility. This is Radnor Lake, a wildlife preserve in the region. Together, let's learn a bit about the wildlife in Tennessee. First, let's take a look at these mallards. The males are the ones with the dark green heads, while the females and juveniles are mottled brown. Mallards are dabbling ducks, which means that they feed in the water by tipping forward and grazing on underwater plants. Watch them. Take note that they are tipping and not diving. Some of these mallards might be trying to court each other. Since spring is the breeding season, pairing takes place in the fall. But courtship can be seen all winter. When you think of the sound of a duck quacking, that is the sound of a female mallard. Males don't actually quack. They make a much quieter sound. The waters of the lake also attract many other kinds of animals. For instance, the great blue heron, a fairly common resident of Tennessee. They walk slowly when foraging, but act quickly when it's time to eat, stabbing their prey with a quick lunge of the bill. The great blue heron eats primarily fish, but occasionally forages in fields where it catches voles and mice. Great blue herons were listed as in need of management from 1976 to 1986, but were removed when the population began to increase. There's been a steady growth in their Tennessee population since the 1980s. But wait, look up! What was that? It's hard to get a good look, but it appears that we aren't far from the nest of a bald eagle. These graceful birds have been the national symbol of the United States since 1782. They're fairly large birds. The female bald eagle's wingspan can be up to even eight feet across. Eagle nests are called aries, and they can be found at the very tops of tall trees. During the summer, they can be seen soaring above the lake, looking for a bite to eat. They prefer lakes and reservoirs, with lots of fish, of course. Here's another majestic creature, the white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer are herbivores, leisurely grazing on most available plant foods. Their stomachs allow them to digest a varied diet, including leaves, twigs, fruits, nuts, grass, corn, and even lichens and other fungi. White-tailed deer are primarily nocturnal, but will occasionally venture out in the daylight hours. Although previously depleted by unrestricted hunting in the United States, strict game management measures have helped restore the white-tailed deer population. Male deer, called bucks, are easily recognizable in the summer and fall by their prominent set of antlers, which are grown annually and fall off in the winter. Only the bucks grow antlers, which bear a number of sharp points. During the mating season, also called the rut, bucks fight over territory by using their antlers in sparring matches. White-tailed deer have also been found with COVID antibodies, meaning they likely contracted COVID-19 and successfully fought the infection. Tennessee is full of environmental variation, given its topological diversity and its complex drainage patterns and varying soils, but a majority of the state's territory is within the deciduous forest zone. This zone is characterized by oaks, maples, beech, walnut, hickory, and other hardwoods mixed with pine and cedar. These forests make possible the thriving of many animals, hopefully for millennia to come.